Good, hello everybody, how you doing? Uh, look, just a quick one from me today. What I, I read this story and I wasn't going to touch on it because I think it, it, it's, it's got a, a larger issue, but the actual thing is quite hilarious itself. The, this me, uh, gentleman called Daniel Khalif, uh, he was a man in prison uh, under police custody as he was accused for uh, trying to basically spy for Iran in the UK. So he was actually in the army, in our military working, so he trained with us, went through training, uh, you know, create friends there but apparently he was doing all part of some sort of like a, you know a hoax a thing and uh, basically got um, arrested as he was trying to commit an act of terrorism which was basically hold on it says it somewhere here he, he planted a fake bomb basically at a, a military base now he obviously got caught for this and got arrested now that's obviously very bad boohoo you however what he somehow managed to escape a prison what the general idea was is he basically he used to work in the kitchens now the kitchens as far as I've been told and read online is the best job you can get so let's get this straight the prison he was at so the prison where he was working in uh, northwest london uh, they gave a terrorist the best job in the building bbc news has re obviously reported he got uh, he got caught and he got arrested again however how can you give a terrorist the well-known best job in the building he was apparently 50 yards from the actual uh, escaping so what he did he managed to use the uh, bed sheets from obviously his cell and managed to strap himself to the bottom of the food cart somehow and get out. That's quite impressive, isn't it? I think that's the escapist. He's clearly played some of that. Uh, you know, what do I know? I'm just going to play this quick little 60 second video. It gives you a quick of an understanding. A manhunt is launched for a terror suspect who has escaped from London's Wandsworth prison. The working theory. London Wandsworth prison he managed to escape from. So a London prison and they managed to put him in the kitchen, which is the best job in the house. And, you know, you have to be trusted to do it. And then did that and then he escaped unsurprisingly to the underside of a food delivery van daniel khalif was working in the kitchen at wandsworth prison this is around 50 meters from the nearest gate a food truck that had been making a delivery drove out of the prison through that gate that's what he kept going on about yeah i'm going to be famous and well he is now police tracked down the food delivery truck used in the escape but found the prisoner gone. CCTV footage suggests that Daniel Khalif had already disappeared from under the vehicle three quarters of an hour before. There was a search of Richmond Park overnight by police. They haven't told us what evidence, what information has brought us here. The first confirmed sighting of the terror suspect, Daniel Khalif, just a mile from Wandsworth Prison. It's here Daniel Khalif was seen leaving the truck that he'd escaped under. Now, detectives have a starting point. Overnight, we saw the helicopter in the sky above parts of southwest London. The method, they weren't going to give a running commentary on any searches. But today we are in reality still no closer to knowing where he is right now. Breaking news just coming into us from the Metropolitan Police that they have arrested a terror suspect who escaped from Wandsworth Prison on Wednesday. So that will give you a bit of a better understanding. This is him getting caught, but what I, I don't understand is how. So I, I truly believe this guy must have had some sort of helping hand in the inside. Police in the UK, they might be idiots, but our prisons are very strong. Uh, we've Since 2014, we've had something like five escapes. That's it. That's minor, very minor. So how did this guy get out? I believe someone on the inside must have helped him. How? Where? How do I How do I know? I know nothing. Suspicious. Someone in the kitchen staff, maybe someone a bit more trusted, a bit more senior, perhaps helped him out. He got caught on a bike and got handcuffed, obviously, arrested. Now, he wasn't very far away, though, where he got caught. I'm not sure did it show it there. It didn't show it there, but he didn't get... All right, so yeah, that's the uh, Wandsworth, HMP, a majesty, or his majesty, I suppose, I don't know. Church Street, spotted, 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 and that's where he got done. So he got further than I thought, actually initially so you have to admit how did he get from there to there so he got off a tre off the uh, food and beverages and then got here he got spotted somewhere around here by someone you got to think why didn't he like shave his head I, I would go incognito now I'm not trying to give him ideas not at all bad man go to prison but if I would escape to prison you know, I, I, if I go to prison I've done something heroic you know what I mean I've like beat the shit out of a rapist or something like that too much you know you know that sort of shit I I am a hero. 
gone to prison for the good shit, managed to escape on the bottom of a food delivery, mate. I'm jumping in that river and just swimming. I think that's a good idea. No, that's a terrible idea. The amount of disgustingness in that river would kill me. You would die within seconds, which is probably still better than going back to prison. But anyway, maybe get on a bike. Maybe maybe try, like, steal a moped. I'm sure he's got... But back, back to my original point, he must have had friends. He's only 21. What about someone on the inside actually helped him? Now, he's supposed to stand trial. He denies all the charges. Uh, he'll obviously now get a longer service. Uh, sentence because he actually tried escaping personally I feel like if you deny the charges and then escape I think it's a pretty invalid point to use would you would you agree I'm just throwing it out there but it took them four days so where was he staying for four days as well did he maybe stay at a friend's house did he maybe stay at the person who potentially helped him out now again this is all here but this is all if buts and maybes this is theory time theory time this is guesswork that's why I wanted to come on because I do not believe not a chance he managed to get out on his own I how did he manage to strap himself under it? How? That would take time. A lot of time. And he managed to attach himself. Surely someone would have seen it. That's what I think. Someone gave him it to attach him. Or someone who was on guard at the time would have seen it but allowed it to happen. They offered a 20 grand reward. Man, I should have read that. I would have been doing down there getting my bloody witcher sense on and like... <laughs> Hair. I smell it. Man, 21. Potential links to prison. Bad B.O. He went down that way. Find him. 20 G's, baby. 20 fat ones in my back pocket just for finding him. And it'd be a piece of piss. I would smash it. I wouldn't need anyone's help. I wouldn't need any assistance. What are you guys' theories on this? This man clearly escaped prison, and I clearly think he didn't do it by himself. He must have had some sort of help. Someone held his hand. Someone did something to it. And also, how did he get the best job in the house? This is a known terrorist suspect with links of spying on the state. Links to Iran or Iraq, whichever it was, I can't remember. And obviously, Rishi Sunak, who's the biggest prick to ever live. So, look, here's, here's a picture. One's worth prison, central London, bro. You know what I mean? It's the busiest place, one of the busiest cities in the world, one of the busiest places in the UK. He's the busiest place. Now, the kitchen is there, and he got out there. So, how did he get from there to there? But someone must have bloody seen it there. Someone must have had a camera, but they didn't. So, he disappeared as well after that. Uh, he planted fake bombs. I believe that it was like to explode wrong night. He was arrested in his car on the 27th. I had to look for it. He was one worth, one's worth uh, two days later due to appear in court. So basically, he's fucked. He's F-U-C-K, F-U-C-K in the big boot, eh? What do you guys think? I think, let's, let me, tell me your theories down below. I want to hear what you guys think of this because I think there is some serious, bro, some serious insider information that we are not being told or some serious insider information known by someone else. If I was that warden, I'd take everyone into a meeting and go, I know it was one of you fuckers, right? One of you guys have left an absolute stinker on my desk and I'm going to find out who it is. Anyway, thank you so much. I, I hope you enjoy this sort of content and it's just a bit of a joke. Obviously, he committed a very serious crime and he's back where he belongs, but it's, it's good to speculate on things how we got like this, isn't it? Look after yourselves. Goodbye.